Hi, it's Darren with Smart Sheet Guru. In this video, I'm going to show how you can use a template for a project and keep cross sheet references and links from the project dashboard to project elements intact. This is a manual method to emulate Smart Sheets control center functionality for organizations that need some consistency when creating new projects but aren't yet ready to invest in Control Center. I've created a project template workspace and underneath it I have a folder. Uh, depending on your use case, you may not want the folder or the workspace, but I wanted to show both of these options for demonstration purposes. In this folder, I have some smart sheet elements I have a project plan, I have a couple of reports, I have a metric sheet, I have a dashboard. And what I'm gonna show you is that, for example, this metric sheet um, is counting um, tasks in the project plan that meet this status. And when uh, we replicate this template all these cross sheet references will remain intact and uh, be applicable to your new project. And the same with the dashboard. So um, these widgets will all, and these links will actually point to the new uh, project. So you can choose to either uh, save a folder as new if you um, keep projects, you know, all your projects in the same workspace, or you can. Um, choose to save a new workspace if you um, use a workspace for each project. You know, that's up to your process and, and how you use them. But in this example, I'm just gonna save the workspace as new. And I'm just gonna call it store number one. And I'll save that. Okay, so now we have our new workspace and we have our project folder. And uh, what you would normally do is go in and replace template with, say, your project name. And it, you don't have to have that template prefix on the sheet um, or any of these elements, but I like to do that um, just as a visual indicator of, um, you know, this, this was uh, created from the template and replace this um, template name with you know the actual name of the project and same thing here in the dashboard we'll call it store number one edit this real quick okay and so you'll see these project links here if I click on the project plan it's going to take me to the store number one project plan so um, you know I had this dashboard template. I had these links pointing to the project plan and, this re and these couple reports. Um, and when, when I replicated this uh, template, all those links now point to the new sheets. So it's very handy if you uh, have a project structure that you like to use. Um, you can you know, have your template, have all your links there, and it'll, it'll replicate. And so I'll just demonstrate real quick if I go into the project plan here. And let's mark some of these uh, different statuses. And I save that. If I go back to the dashboard, you'll see this widget is now updated with the count of the statuses. And if I go back to the template, course it remains uh, just the template no changes there so uh, you know this demonstrates that when you copy this template over you know, you know you make changes in the new files and it only stays within this new uh, project workspace so I hope that was helpful um, this is a great way to um, have some consistency in your project plans 
end um, when you have uh, certain metrics you like to calculate for each project you can you know have all those calculations there in your template and they'll all copy you over to the new project thank you for watching um, if you like these videos uh, feel free to subscribe and like the videos thank you